Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to teach you some VLS top-down missiles. We're going to build these VLS top-down missiles. They're quite overpowered and they have the capability to penetrate the deck of a ship, which is really good. Not so good if you're going to use these guys on tanks. That's for another video probably. But anyway, let's get uh, to it. So first thing we want to do, obviously, we're going to use medium missiles. Medium missiles, they are really good for VLS. We're going to go use some connectors here. Let's do... how much is that? That's eight, right? That's eight. And that's 16, so... It's gonna be 16 missiles there. Put a launcher here. By the way, you can co you can uh, connect these guys with a wireless connector, but uh, I like to build them like this in most of my ships. I like to use these guys in corvettes, patrol boats, and, and you know, small ships. I like to combine these guys with other weapons, for like for example, Kram, because they can sometimes get past lamps and uh, CIWS systems. So we have one, two, three, four, five gantries. We're gonna go with six gantries here. So we need this missile to be a little bit long. Okay, okay, so we have missile launcher and we have six gantries here. Right. Next thing we're going to do is obviously a missile controller. So that's like this. So the missile controller we can Set it to 180 degrees. Uh, IFF and stagger fire. Set stagger fire to 0.25 of a second. Oh, funny thing about this system is that you don't need a local local weapon controller like this one. You can launch these guys with a breadboard. With some parameters or you can even launch them with an ACB. Really nice. Uh, right, that's a problem. I'll put the IFF here. And here then. Maximum range for these missiles is going to be around 2000 meters. Uh, if these guys are going basically to space, so yeah. Uh, we don't need constriction here, but I'll just I'll just leave it like this. So anyway, let's configure these missiles now because they're ready to be launched. Variable thruster, that's fine. Fin, we'll do three fuel, and we'll do for now. We'll just do explosive, explosive. We might need to add a predictor. We might need to add a regulator because when you add a regulator, your missile will have a bit more lifetime. Right now, the lifetime is 20 seconds, which is not good. Even if uh, thrust is 25 seconds. A lot of people don't know about this. They think, oh, 25 uh, duration for thrust. So that's how much life it has. No, that's this lifetime here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the regulator there. And, and now it's 40 seconds, which is pretty good. Uh, C skimming, no, we're going to use firing line. That everything is fine there so I'm just gonna leave it like this right now this is you know I didn't change much and I'm just gonna spawn in a marauder for now right so when I spawn a marauder you'll see they get launched but they turn right away which is something that I don't want they're, right now they're basically like a cruise missile you can see there they did quite a good number on the marauder poor marauder let's repair him okay and stay there sir right let's go back to the platform here so now i'm going to change these missiles to be more top down and we do this by going to warhead aiming delay we're going to change this to 8 seconds 
and guidance activation delay to 8 seconds. So basically they're going to go in space for 8 seconds, then they're going to turn and go for the enemy. So 8 seconds, I think it's pretty good. We'll see. We might have to change the thrust output or the ramp time. We'll see. We'll see. Right, let's uh, try again. So now as you can see they're going way higher. And that is space. Now they're going to turn. And as you can see now, that's a much more top-down angle. That's almost 90 degrees there. Right, let's uh, check this. As you can see, that is way more devastating. That is so much better. We got the cram, we got a lot of stuff here. So next thing, we'll go a little bit higher. Because 8 seconds sounds like a lot, but I mean, not that much. Alright, let's do 10 seconds. And we can either change the ramping time, or we can change the thrust output. I think I'm going to change the thrust output because the ramping time is already maximizing the thrust output. We're going to go 1750, that's 21 seconds thrust. Uh, thrust duration so the missiles might end up without enough fuel we'll see we'll see let's try try again this time i'm gonna follow them that's 10 seconds and they are turning now against uh, fast boats the system is not that great but uh if you add an apn or a predictor it might, it might still work, we'll see. Oh, and they ended up without fuel. They're still going to go down though. But we're going to lose a little bit of thump damage there. Did I repair the Marauder? I did, I think I did. Still managed to... Yeah, some of them missed. Yep, some of them missed. So... That's too much. We don't have enough fuel for for that so I'm just gonna reduce this to 1400 I think that's fine you have to find the right balance and I like to use 1500 meters as my maximum range for these missiles yeah. and I think now they should be okay now the funny thing is that if you pair other missiles with this with these missiles, you can use, for example, two large missiles to use them as a decoy. You launch them the same way, but you make them turn a lot quicker than these guys. So for example, they will turn five seconds before these guys. And the enemy sea whiz that was still without fuel. Oh, AI dead there, because top-down damage. So as you can see, they're a lot more deadlier, deadlier like this, deadly, deadlier. <laughs> right, so we're not enough fuel though, that's the only problem. So we'll do, we'll do 9 seconds. We'll do 1250, that's 30 seconds, that's more than enough. Okay, last time. Oh, remember, right? We're shooting a Marauder here. He's, he's not even moving. And he's not, I mean, it's not a small target, but it's not a, either a large target. Not even, I mean, it's not small, not too big. Let's see now. That's almost 90 degrees there. It's like 80 something. We have enough fuel, which is good because we get some extra thump damage. That is pretty good. And then if you want you can also use these type of missiles and uh, add like cluster to them which is very good you can add a couple of cluster just connect them 
right to this uh, connectors here anyway so that's done so next thing we're going to change them to frag as well right so we go to frag uh, the 60 degrees will go 45 degrees negative 35 degrees here so basically they frag top down do the same here and do the same here let's check okay that is fine now i'm gonna spawn something that has a sea whiz and it's actually a little bit faster i'm gonna spawn the iron maiden Oh, uh, I can't tell him not to shoot though. So let's see what happens here. So this thing has uh, a sea whiz. And it has a very good sea whiz actually. The only thing that can counter these type of missiles is lamps and missile interceptors. But I mean, this sea whiz is doing a good job there. But it's still. Yeah, as you can see, it's still not managing to kill them all because of the extreme angle. Okay. So as you can see, we kind of failed there. We didn't hit them perfectly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sacrifice... See, I'm going to sacrifice one of these explosives for a predictor. Predictor guidance. Copy everything. Fuel. Two HE here. So we get some explosive inside the missile there. That is fine. Okay. Try again. How expensive are you, by the way? Let's see. Uh, 30k almost, which is, I mean, it's quite expensive. That's like a good cram cannon. As you can see, you can. Missiles up. Oh. Down. I can't see them right now. There they are. He's managing to destroy almost all of them, but oh, there you go. There you go. We got one turret out. So you can see how powerful they are. He's going to shoot an going to shoot another volley. And you can pair these guys with other missiles. The sea is disabled, yep. Sea wheels is disabled. You can see there it's quite devastating. And I mean it's a very small system. You can literally put this on a speedboat. Quite expensive though, and let's see, it's gonna take yeah, it's gonna take a lot of ammunition to keep feeding these guys. You know, I, I usually breadboard these guys. I'll tell them, for example, if we have more than 50% ammunition, then shoot. If the enemy is this much range, then shoot. Shoot every 5 seconds or check every 4, 5 seconds. Okay, uh, I wish you could decap the other one. You can see there it's really messing the ship up right now. 87% and you know most uh, steel striders they have wood as you can see this one has wood so I mean it's not gonna come on get the turret and we got uh, yep see which has been completely disabled now you can see yeah the system is very good Oh, I think it's going for the turret. Going for the turret. Let's do slow motion here. Oh.
Right, you can see the frag angle there. Ooh, almost. Almost very, very close. There's more. Or go for the turret. Oh, so close. So close. But you can see the frag angle is very good. At this angle. But uh, yeah, you can see there. My goodness. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and like. And try this uh, weapon system. It's very, very good. And I'll see you for more videos. Thank you for watching.